What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kaguya Sama Love is War Season 3, Episodes 5 and 6. Last episode, we just had some hilarious moments with the whole Nagisa cheating or the sleepover or anything in between. So I'm very excited to hop into these, um, finish out Season 3, get into some more greatness for you. This has been such a fantastic journey. If you guys have been enjoying it as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for early access and full uncut up to four episodes ahead or one week. Um, let's hop right on into this. Kaguya-sama, season three, episodes five and six. Let's do this. She's like, oh, I get it. Yeah, he's still thinking of Hayasaka. So he wants to wrap them. I don't think he's talking, obviously, about confess confessing. Maybe it's just some... Yeah, maybe it's just some sound advice like this. And so... And the TV shuts off right there for a good. Oh. They're giving me an official volume warning. She's convulsing on the ground dead. <laughs> Apologize to music and to all musical artists, the entire genre, everything. Right? So we technically should have learned pitch and rhythm. Yet, somehow we're forgetting both. Huh. <laughs> Chika does not know about hip-hop. Yo, yo, yo! Okay. So now we're asking her if we're sure she can learn rap to teach us to rap? This is quite the roundabout training. A few days later, Chica's about to be, Chica's about to be spitting some bars. Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh. I mean, that's better than Miyuki. I gotta give it to you. She has been musically inspired, huh? Oh. Not the video game too. With, with the Fujiwara F at the end? She went kind of stupid right there. She went kind of ham. You graduated. How are we thinking Miyuki when he still doesn't know how to rap, right? Huh? What is going on? I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks. <laughs> Chica with the language versus her talk. Oh, we actually are going to rap. Oh my God. That is too funny. I mean, I hope I think she's being genuine with that. I hope so, because it makes sense how they could just be good friends, because both of their number one goal is to make sure everything's best for Kaguya. So it honestly relate to <laughs> Yeah, so she knows that Chica's there, so she has to go as a boy. And then this is just super awkward. Kaguya's in the distance spying. Little did Hayasaka know that Miyuki would be rapping. Everyone's just confused about this whole scenario. Me. <laughs> I know. I'm about to die of cringe. After all the work she put in through? Come on. <laughs> oh my. And this is getting real complicated. Let the let the words of the song speak for itself. Okay, check. Okay, fucking DJ spin. 
on the park itself. This kind of goes ham. I love the visuals. I know, right? He's actually keeping up this time. <laughs> you should have heard him last time. She needs to stop cussing. <laughs> with the fish eye lens too, just like with some of his Busta Rhymes music video. <laughs> oh my god, Chika and Miyuki. I'm trying to go to their concert. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it touched her. I wish I paid more attention to the lyrics so I could get what kind of advice they were actually that thought alone. Just the amount of practice you put in. Oh, we're going acapella? Is it so funny that I would have been in the group of Chika? <laughs> And Miyuki just going along. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. I wonder, I'm only pausing it just because I know this show when it comes to the details and the references goes beyond most, especially my own. I wonder, I, I know that fisheye lens had to have been a reference to that Busta, uh, Busta Rhymes music video. So I'm very curious what other like music videos or hip-hop references that don't get me wrong i'm so happy kagi is doing this but this is kind of creepy just the tone she's hitting like she said let me snatch that mic as we twist over change the beat up change the flow up we got ninja detective she's finally letting out all these emotions she's been penting up you know with all her persona she's had facts she wasn't really rhyming that much but she sure was letting her emotions out a male friend nothing major she wants to be a normal girl and this low-key was the entire goal of miyuki to get her to express herself you know give her some sound advice yes my men, yes, my men. <laughs> I can't with this show. I can't. What is this show? Hell yeah, go save that girl. Oh, it's what's her name? I thought it was Miko Eno just from the angle. Yep, I can agree with that one. Would you care for another cup of tea? Is that his name? Subasa? I don't think I've ever gotten his name. I can write Nagisa Subasa. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with the, like, I. Oh my god. They're. Should I be sitting next to them? Should I be sitting next to them saying what they're saying? I literally feel like I'm in the show right now. This whole time, I've just had him as Nagisa's boyfriend. And they thought the same thing. Oh my god. We're talking about... We're talking about... How do, how do I say it? Uh, the first time, yeah. Uh, yeah, that that's what we're talking about. Okay, fairy god Ishigami. Seka. We read a we read a magazine about it. Yup, we read it. Absolutely. In certain aspects, yes. Okay. I like how both of the guys saying this have not confessed yet. Funny they're saying that. I 
Yeah, we're gonna have some tea can you know conversations about how you're trying to steal your best friend's man. I didn't catch your name, but shouts out whoever commented on the Patreon about what like first, second, and third cousins are. I appreciate you. I think <laughs> genuinely they would make a good friendship triangle, Maki, Miyuki, and Ishigami, just because of their inability to confess, you know. What is going on with this ending? My girl Chica, Miko Ino, they're having like a dance off. Look at the way this is animated. This is sweet. Yeah, we got Miyuki and Chika as the rappers and Ishigami and Miko as the backup dancers. This is so different from like a normal, this is like a 3D modeled animation, but this looks really good. Like, I don't think I'd watch a show like this, but I would 100% love a music video or something like this. Like, look at this. Look at the boy. What was that? What the hell? All right, on to episode six. Let's do it. Second years have parent teacher conferences. Really? That's way more in depth than over here in the West. And here they say, hey, your son kind of sucks or he's cool. That's pretty much it. Like, when I was their age, I never would have thought I'd be watching anime with you guys for a job, you know? That's kind of cool. Ishigami Big Brother. True. Except it's a little more complicated these days, you know? I could see that. Hey, that's a great goal. <laughs> I know, I thought she was being serious. I was actually curious, are we going to see Kaguya's parents? Now is here. So we have Hayasaka's mom as our emissary, as our surrogate. Right? You gotta have something where she can outwardly express herself. Sounds like some new jabez. I don't even know how you say that band's name. But they're Kaguya-chan. Papa Gane. He's trolling her. He is so like, no need to be so bashful. I know, they're just sitting there watching. That is so funny. Papa Gane is hilarious. He's so funny. I swear, the fact that he never like grins either, he has a serious face and he's it's so funny. Okay, that's the Hayasaka mom. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Don't know what you want to do? Yeah. I've never really thought about it. Stanford, he will be going out of the country to study. I mean, it's a great school. It would be great for him, but him and Kaguya are thinking the same thing, you know? Is this actually happening? We're just planning, right? We're still even second years. Then we're going on, we're moving on. Oh, I thought he was going to say he's going to leave it, but he's going to do it. If she doesn't confess by then, he's going to go for it. Funny guy, Miyuki. Actually, this is pretty go with the flow. This is pretty casual, I won't lie. 
He's doing it pretty damn smooth, too. Are you declining? I know. Are you declining this, Kaguya? Right? You dumbass. I know. You had a chance and you blew it. Uh huh. Okay, that is true. We need more women in our society, in our community. Ask, ask more men out. Come on, queens. Calm down. Her face is getting red. The way she said it, yeah. Oh my god, not the oh my god, talk about some sweaty palms. Best boy, Ishigami. <laughs> we need something to raise our courage. Oh, here we go. It's getting even lowered. Here we go. Uh-huh. And now Chica Chica's gonna come in and say something. Damn. The golden scenario. Shinomiya. So much beat. You guys, look at how the way they're animated. You guys are the biggest cock blockers. Like, come on. Nosedive. Hey, they win. They had a good time. Oh my god. Chica, a woman of many talents. Just enough to dabble. Look at her. Not necessarily me. <laughs> I know with his musical talents. She is very correct. A little bit more. We need a little more introspection for my man Miyuki. I don't think it's that at all, but I like how you're thinking about what it could be. As a man, as a masculine man. I guess, but like, come on. Here we go. And now she's like, oh, man whore. There are girls that I know that totally aren't my type that are lovely, you know, like in terms of their personality, but same, I'm assuming same with me to them.
you don't want a pretty boy you said this literally looks like we're watching neon genesis evangelion <laughs> what's that galact starship what's that one anime i'm thinking of god i can't think of it it's not even neon genesis you guys know what i'm trying to think of i'm butthurt i know right well let's All he needed to hear. Shouts out to the lovely Kaguya. Hell yeah. No one. I mean, it, low key, it really is hard. That's what being human is, is all about. 100%. I tell my friends all the time to look at themselves and, you know. That prince doesn't exist, right? No, he definitely does not. That is hilarious. All right, those were some hilarious episodes. I think my favorite one, including the alternate ending, was that rap one because I love Japan's take on hip hop and seeing my favorite characters rap, especially Chika. She is a multifaceted, multi talented young lady who happens to be who happens to excel in a number of musically i don't know what i'm trying to say but god damn i'm so shocked that was such a cool ending too like with miyuki and chika rapping with ino and ishigami as our backup dancers kaguya uh oh, i would watch i need to watch that again if i'm honest with you that was sick um definitely gonna include that in the endings reaction absolutely uh thoroughly enjoyed these episodes i really enjoy also how hilarious they are but how deep they can get into characters emotions like how hilarious the parent teacher conference was but it really did touch on kaguya and hayasaka's feelings about how parents that are so busy to not you know show love and time and affection to their kids it really does affect them and you know kaguya's always done everything her parents say so when it was time for her like what do you want to do with your life she was like i've never even thought about it i've only ever done what my and that's kind of sad and crazy to think you know now we have a times table and how fast we can confess because miyuki's going to stanford when we're done graduating so we got to get this shit going i'm ready for it i am here that was some great episodes if you guys did enjoy please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon for early access uncut up to four episodes one week ahead don't forget to drink some water even though this is apple juice um, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.